Thanks. Now to, as we mentioned at the top of the show, a difficult and contentious re-examination of President Biden's U.S. troop withdrawal from Afghanistan. Top military officials expressed their regret over the disastrous exit in an at times fiery House hearing. Congressional correspondent Aisha Hosni has the story from Capitol Hill. There's zero doubt in my mind there were mistakes made. Generals Mark Milley and Frank McKenzie back on Capitol Hill, this time as private citizens, blasting the Biden administration for the chaotic withdrawal from Afghanistan. If there's fault, it lies in a policy decision that placed the joint force in this situation. The generals telling lawmakers Afghanistan would not have collapsed if the White House had followed the Pentagon's assessment to keep U.S. troops on the ground. The Afghan government, the Afghan security forces would not have collapsed in August of 21 had we maintained that posture. They also blame the State Department for ordering an evacuation too late. The fundamental mistake, fundamental flaw, uh, was the timing uh, of the State Department and that was too little, too late. It was my judgment that it was far too little, far too late. The few Democrats who attended the hearing say the failure lies in 20 years of American policy, including that of former President Trump. And they wondered why the generals even showed up today. So there's not really anything new that was learned today uh, because you've testified to it before. I'll leave that to you all to determine. Some loved ones of the 13 U.S. service members who died during the attack at Abbey Gate were also in the room, like Steve Nikui, who was arrested for shouting during President Biden's State of the Union address. Those charges get dropped? I have no idea. No, no charges got dropped. So. You're still facing charges? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And nobody from the administration has tried to intervene or help? Democrat Congresswoman Debbie Dingell sidestepping whether Congress should intervene. I don't know, you guys, I gotta go. But Republican Michael Waltz says lawmakers will do everything to get those charges dropped. We're working with the sergeant at arms, the Capitol Police. And Fox did reach out to the State Department today for reaction to today's testimony. We have not heard back just yet. Brett, there was another moment during the hearing here that got some unwanted attention for Republicans. Chairman Michael McCall caught on a hot mic, uh, basically using foul language to try and wrap up Congressman Daryl Issa's comments. Watch this. Uh, Gentleman's time has expired. Ms. miller Meeks is recognized. Oh, I didn't realize. Thank You've you. You've been kept, keeping a five-minute. I thought rule. it was done. I thought it was. Okay. I thought it was the All closing right. act, Chairman. Yeah, go f yourself. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe he realized he was. Uh, the mic was hot at that moment. ISIS team is telling Fox tonight, uh, no big deal. He's been called far worse and by a colleagues that he doesn't like. A McCall spokesperson is telling me that the chairman was gaveling uh, the time, uh, Daryl ISIS comments. Chairman McCall himself writes this, it was a long day and I lost my temper. That is uncharacteristic of me and I apologize to Mr. ISA, who I consider a friend. So both sides trying to move on from that moment. Brett. Got to keep it to five minutes. Aisha Hasni, live on the Hill, I should think. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.